west into east Texas, uh, broken only by the major river systems, uh, you know, river bottom hardwoods. It even ranged up into the Appalachian Mountains and uh, uh, northeast Alabama, northwest Georgia, up around Rome, Georgia, Gadsden, Anniston. Uh, about 65 million acres of it was a pure pine type, and the balance of between the, the other acres were in association with shortleaf pine, loblolly pine, slash pine, uh, and, and the other species. It's different from most other southern pines, uh, or most all the other pines. They're dropping seed from cones this time of the year, and uh, most all the other pines have to go through a period of dormancy. That seed has to lay on the ground all winter, exposed to cold weather, before it germinates and starts growing in the spring. Longleaf is unique because the seed that are falling now, uh, if they hit bare mineral soil and the temperature is less than 80 degrees, uh, that seed will germinate and start growing in the fall. It will send a uh, and it focuses all its energy in sending a tap root down <coughs> into the ground. Uh, and then it will develop a turf of, of uh, needles uh, in what we call a grass stage seedling like what we have here. It just looks like a clump of grass. And if you could scratch around in here, uh, you might find some one year old seedlings. Uh, that right there is probably a two-year-old. Right, right here? No, that's yeah. grass. No, right here. It's, 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 it's got a left. stem on it. If it's got a stem on it, it's not molly pine. But if it's just uh, it's like a turf of grass, uh, it is um, it is long way. That's long way. Is that so is this, is this last year's germination? Is this, is this two that years? tree, is, that's probably two years, maybe three years old. Now, what will happen? I have to remember, this is a landscape before we started interfering with it. Fire periodically moved through this landscape. Uh, some forest ecologists said probably as often as every three years. In some cases more. Uh, well, how did this fire start? Well, if you're not from the southeast, especially the southeast coastal plain, we are in the lightning capital of North America. We have more thunderstorm days and uh, lightning strikes in any other area uh, in North America, including out west. Uh, probably the, I think the area around Tampa and St. Petersburg has the most. And then the go right around the Gulf Coast and right around the South Atlantic Coast closely follows. So these fires would, these lightning strikes would start fires. And over time, over eons of time, vegetation adapted to it uh, to become more fire resistant. And one of the mechanisms longleaf pine developed to become more fire resistant was A, fa a, a fall germination, B, sending a tap root down. And that tap root, if we dug this one up, it would have a tap root on it about this long, and probably about this big around. Oh, wow. and that, that organ stores a lot of carbohydrates. Two years. That that this one is probably this is probably three, four, five years old from from seed fall. That's the second thing they did. And what they did when this tree gets a root collar diameter of about a, an inch, it starts growing in height, and it'll shoot up two or three feet a year. Uh, and it won't produce branches until it gets, uh, oh, six feet or so, like you see that one over there. Uh, when it starts height growth, uh, we call it, I call it the bottle brush stage because it looks like a bottle brush. Some people call it the rocket stage because it's shooting up real fast. And it's doing that to get ahead of those periodic fires. It's relative, it's, it's susceptible to fire that first year after it germinates. Then it's relatively fire resistant until it starts growing in height. And then after two years, uh, it's about this high and there's enough 
corky bark that has developed on that stem to uh, to insulate it from these fires. And these fires are not the conflagrations you see out west, you know, where the, 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 the flames are as high as the trees. These typically lightning set fires creep. They, in, this, in this habitat, they probably would, flame length wouldn't be any higher than about your knee and very slow moving. <coughs> We try to mimic those fires with prescribed burning to keep this habitat open. But getting back to the unique capabilities of this tree to resist fire, fall germination, a grass stage where it's developing the carbohydrate-laden tap root, bolting up uh, when it gets root collar gets a certain size, bolting up fast to get ahead of get above the, length, the, the flame length, and then that thick corky bark that, uh, that insulates it from fire. And another interesting thing is the needles are very resinous. They're more, they're more resin in these needles than, other, than our other southern pines, and they're flammable. So this is, a, this is a plant that tries to modify its environment by making it more flammable. So the fires will come through, and those periodic fires will kill off the sweet gum and the oak and the and, and other brush species, wax myrtle, uh, to keep competition at bay. Other plants also mimic this. Uh, we will find you see these clumps of grasses out here through the uh, through the stand. Uh, that, that are a very wiry material, that's wiregrass, and it also is very flammable too. So wiregrass and it's lonely pine growing together, they need periodic fire. So they have, mo they're mo in a sense, modifying their environment to make it more flammable, which is, is, is fascinating. Well, now, once uh, that catches fire, does it do anything to kill the plant? <laughs> I mean, the, does it go into the the tap root and everything? No, it won't. The, the, this is this is our most fireproof tree. Well, the I know fire will kill it. Fire will oh, kill okay. it, but it's but a lot harder to kill this than loblolly pine <coughs> because loblolly pine, at this stage when it's a seedling, it has thin bark. It's got all these limbs sticking out uh -huh. that can catch on fire. Uh -huh. And uh, I thought you said and, this and, and this resin up. makes it more. The, the combustible. The yeah, the resin makes the... So when when the fire comes in, it'll burn off the leaf, but it won't kill the tree. Yeah. It won't kill the tree. Oh. In fact, in fact, in fact mm -hmm. this is what it's doing. The other thing like me, is this terminal bud. This is what you've got to kill if you're going to kill the tree. Yeah. And it's heavily insulated with these thick, mm -hmm. silvery scales. And also, uh, as the fire moves through, it may not burn these needles slap off the tree because as you get down to the base of the needles, you have a higher moisture content. Right. And so, uh, so these needles will kind of insulate this bud, and then this got the bark is thick enough at this stage, it will, it, it will insulate it. So it might lose the needles, but the next year it just springs on and up because the taproot is still healthy and active. And it, 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 it's amazing, uh, I have, I used, in my former job, I used to do a lot of prescribed burning, and I have burned through stands this size, burn the needle, slap off, and, you know, land on the thing, oh God, you know, you kill the trees. And I said, no, give it time, and, you know, three weeks later, the tree's putting out new, new needles. Uh, was involved assessing the damage of a sand ridge fire, which was, Last April, over in Dorchester County, and it burned through some mature longleaf that uh, burned the needles slap off of uh, of uh, 80 foot tall trees. <coughs> Landowner said, "I'm going to have to harvest my trees, or they're the dead." I said, "If we get a rain on it, and it, that when we don't have a dry spring, you'll be all right." And went back a month later, trees putting out. These trees are amazingly fire resistant. Can you kill them with fire? Oh yeah, you can kill them with fire. But but it takes a very, very hot, slow moving <coughs> fire at the right stage to, to, to destroy these.
so would, uh, would, this, trees. One, would this one have but survived? That, the mechanism 